Well, we know COVID is easily transferable, so it's not unusual to hear of an entire family becoming infected. For one family, the infection came after an act of kindness. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has the story. I am sitting in a bed completely feeling useless because we let our guard down for one second. This is Sophia Burke. She's a nurse in Elmwood Park who's taken extreme measures to keep the virus from coming home with her. She was successful, but recently her mother gave a ride to a friend with a cough. She claimed that she had a cold, and it turned out that she had COVID and she was a super spreader. My mother let her guard down for one moment. One moment. And in that sweet moment, my entire family was affected. A selfless act with dire consequences. Sophia's father passed away last week, and her mother is now on oxygen, unable to breathe on her own. Her children are dealing with it too. My two year old with diabetes contracted the virus, although she had no respiratory issues. She had to endure high fevers and, 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 and the side effects of having COVID. As the nation tries to balance safety with the need to work for financial security, it's a dilemma that needs context. Yes, we have to survive, but right now we're fighting. We're fighting a virus. We're fighting a pandemic that will kill us. We're not immune to it. So wouldn't you want to walk away with your family alive? healthy, without nerve damage, without unable to breathe. You don't want to spend the money you have on funerals and, and, and burying your loved ones. Perspective from a COVID victim in a hospital bed. Steve Overmeyer, CBS2 News.